You are now watching the official Gran Turismo 7 track tier list. I'm going to be ranking all of the tracks in Gran Turismo 7 from S rank, which is like best track ever, down to F rank, which is in the bin. Why did you even put in the game? Stop wasting everyone's time. And no one is going to disagree with this, right? This is going to be all of the tracks and we're going to end up with them in a tier listing. And you're going to see how they're going to be grouped. So let's start off here. This is a big one. I'm excited to do this all of the tracks i want to put something in the bin i want to feel good and put something in the bin what am i fisherman's ranch you can get straight in the bin rally circuit where the rally physics and gran turismo are terrible you just end up sliding around At fisherman's ranch you never get any purchase you've got this like annoying orange fences and you just like the apex of the front you can never get there there's no grip fisherman's ranch in the bin get rid of fisherman's ranch what else have we got here streets of willow springs there are no streets in Willow Springs. It is a misleading track name. I hate it. I do not like I think for drifters, drifting people, there's a car park, but there's no streets. There are no, it's a desert. So you can get in the bin. Horse Thief Mile, you can definitely get in the bin. Big Willow. I've sort of warmed to Big Willow. I'll be honest. I've sort of warmed to Big Willow. Big Willow, I'm going to do see. Big Willow's now got some redeeming features. I kind of like it. When the sun's setting now as well, turn one, those corners, I sort of get into it. Okay, so you, you can you can stay. What else have we got? What else do we want to do stuff with? Um, oh my God, this is so exciting to have. I want to go S rank. Monza, you are going S rank. Perfect racetrack. Don't change anything ever. Amazing. You've got your time to pick your moves. You can go side by side the whole lap. You've got some Italian Degners. Monza, one of my favourite circuits of all time. Love it in Gran Turismo. And you know what? I love no chicane as well. Keep the chicane. Let's double the chaos for the second chicane. Let's just let it all get even a little bit more chaotic and then it all happen at second chicane. So Monza is right up there for me. Into Lagos. Into Lagos is actually... I'm going to... I'm thinking about this. I can't put Into Lagos S rank. I'm not even sure I can put into Lagos A rank because it's just it's just a little bit boring. Like when you think about it, it's a little bit boring. It's like okay, you got John Cannon and you got a long run down. It's probably the most exciting bit is a long run down to turn one. And then the rest of the corners are sort of like just avoiding track limits. I don't like it. And it's all a bit too compressed in the middle sector. Um, it's not that I don't like it. Sorry, that's the wrong way of putting it. It's not S rank or A rank for me. But let's see how this is all going to shake out. Mount Panorama. I'm sorry. Mount Panorama. I'm very close to putting you in the bin. When I didn't know anything about racing and I heard about Bathurst, Mount Panorama, I thought it was an actual mountain. I thought it was like Pike's Peak. You go up there, you'd be through the clouds. You'd be like going all the way up this mountain and peeking through and then you're at the top of this like thing looking down like on Australia and it's not it's like a two minute lap the way up is just barriers you're just like in between barriers it's like playing marble run in reverse and then you come out the mountain which is basically a small hill and it's a long 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 straight you go D I overrated and I've done a 12 hour race there overrated circuit come at me it's a boring circuit you start as a couple of right angled corners and then you're just in these barriers going up this hill and then barriers coming down the hill. Don't like it. Nürburgring, 24 hour, Nordsch life, absolutely yes to it. The, probably the, the objectively best circuit in the world, the longest circuit like that in the world. There's no longer circuit, right? 147 corners or something in the Nordsch life. Unbelievable testing ground, proving ground, such a mixture of corners, iconic. The game would be worse off without it. The game would be a shadow of itself without it. You go straight up there to rest rank, my friend. Catalonia. I am dangerously close to putting Catalonia in S rank. Catalonia is a massively underrated circuit. People love to hate, oh, Catalonia is such a boring circuit. It's a really exciting circuit. I've been there for the motorbikes. I've been there for the Formula One. I've cycled to Barcelona and cycled around it. I've done so many laps. It's a great circuit. I love the medium speed corners. Very technical. Now you can keep the chicane at the end. It's definitely A rank for me. Definitely, definitely, definitely A rank. Daytona Road Course. 
has the best corner in racing. Turn one Daytona is the best corner at racing. You cannot, you surely cannot disagree with that. 24 hour racing at Daytona, enjoying coming into turn one lap after lap and the bus dot's pretty fun too. And the international horseshoe is pretty good and the Western horseshoe, whatever. So I like Daytona. Daytona's actually yes tier. Dragon Trail Gardens is not going to go in the bin because it has the billion apex corner. So I'm going to put Dragon Trail Gardens in D. The chicanes don't really make sense, but I think it gets a little bit... I think a lot of people will put that in the bin, but I think it gets a little bit too much hate. Um, Fuji... I don't like Fuji. I don't like the last sector. Nah, I don't like Fuji. I had a lot of pain at Fuji. The last sector feels like they just gave up and they just dribbled a, you know, squiggled a line between the last corner, like, oh, we've got to go over here. Let's just make something up. So same with no chicane. No chicane doesn't really fix it. So yeah, Fuji and no chicane, terrible sectors. And actually, Nürburgring GP has a terrible first sector. I don't you can't put Nürburgring GP in detail, you'd be laughed out of the room, but no, I guess it's sort of big wheelers. I guess it's I guess it's there for me. I don't like the first sector. I'm sorry. I really I really don't like it. It's it's not a, it's not a pleasure to do it every time. Red Bull Ring for me is it an A or a B rank circuit? I used to not like it. Now do I like it? I do. It's A rank for me. It's A rank. But you know what? I'm going to put Red Bull Ring short. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether Red Bull Ring Short is, is, S, is S tier because you're basically cutting off the fat of turn three, turn four, and it's a bit more of a rock and roll circuit. But it's not quite S tier. It's not quite S tier. It's there. I think it's a slightly better circuit than the main Red Bull Ring, Red Bull Ring actually. What else have we got? Deep Forest Raceway. Is it bin or is it D? I think it's D. I think it's D. I don't like the first sector. But then the hairpin and then the rundown. Deep forest. The first corner's quite wide. Oh, it's between D and C. I'm going to be very favourable and put it C. It's really lucky. It barely deserves to be there. Has minimal redeeming features. The first sector's a pain. And then there's a straight that goes on forever. Speaking of straights gone forever, Special Stage Route X has to be S tier. Some of the most unique racing. We've run in our channel um, like Royal Rumbles and stuff like that over multiple... I think on the the reigning Royal Rumble champion, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So that is S tier. What a great circuit that is. Brands Hatch Indy is A rank for me. It's a bit like Red Bull Ring Short. It's a great rock and roll circuit. Brands Hatch... Same as Indy, same as Interlagos. It's not a boring circuit. I just feel like it's not as good as Indy, and it's it's quite it's 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 materially not as good as Indy. Like the corners you get in Brands Hatch is like, okay, got to try and cut as much of the corners. A little bit blind. Don't run wide on the exit. It's all grass. So I'm going to put it at B. It's like it's, it's not. It doesn't get my juices really flowing. Alsace and Alsace Short you can get in the bin because they should be free roam areas in Gran Turismo. If you're going to have French countryside road, it's got to be free roam. Don't like it. I don't like the fact it pretends to be some sort of closed course race circuit. Just make it free roam. You can get in the bin. No complaints about that whatsoever. High speed ring. You go down here, my friend. It's high speed ring. Firstly, not a ring. And secondly, a really weird circuit. You've got the characteristics of the big architecture and the big banking. And then you have these sort of like nonsense, like little hair, like the middle set, the hat, the bit it links together is just rubbish. Like, I don't like it. Oh, it's got a bridge. And there's loads of wall riding. You go there. Sakuba. You can't hate, no one can hate Sakuba. You can, no one can hate it, but would we miss it if it was gone? I don't think we would miss it if it was gone. I've got to be honest. It's going to go there. It's an also ram. It doesn't. Sakuba is never going to be leading the charge. It's someone in the back that's sort of like, oh, okay, they don't cause any harm, you know. But 
Uh, what do we got? BB Racer 8. You can absolutely get in the bin. But right, we'll just waste the space. Um, what else do we have here? Northern Isle. You can also get in the bin. I want to have proper NASCAR licensed speedways, please, if possible. Not asking too much. Grand Valley Speedway. You can get in the bin. Again, see reasons given for Alsace. I don't like it as a circuit. I don't know where the apexes are. There's no runoff. It's not a circuit. It's just a collection of roads or speedways. It looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. It looks incredible on the Pacific. And the roads it's modelled on are also amazing to drive in real life. But it should be a free roam circuit. You should be able to pull up with your mates and take a look at the view. And then go for a drive. Roam around in the pack. It's not a circuit. I don't like it. Unpopular opinion, but I'm going to stand by it. Lake Louise, you go right at the top. That is S tier. I think that's the best addition to the game they've made and it's sort of fixed the rally physics. The rally physics in Lake Louise actually makes sense because your car sort of digs in, which I really like. And it looks incredible as well. And you can sort of actually sort of have some snow racing and you're not just skating on the surface, unlike the... Let's put some more rally stuff in the bin. So I dig the windmills. You can go in the absolute bin as well. And Colorado Springs... You can go in the bin because the physics don't make sense. It's just cars smashing from one barrier to the other barrier like they have zero grip, like they're on tyres made of butter. And that's why I like Lake Louise, so deal with it. Um, oh, Road Atlanta. Is it D-rank or is it C-rank? Why does the first sector have to be so blind? Everything is blind. Oh, this is fun. And the last sector stuff is blind. And then the curbs in the middle are massive. I don't like it. You're going D-rank. If you told me I had to go to either Mountain Panorama or Road Atlanta, you'd be like, oh, I don't have to go to any of them. I don't like it at all. Dragon Trail Seaside, you go straight in at S-tier. One of the best sort of um, in-game created circuits in history, in the history of mankind. Death Chicane. Do we need to say anything more? Absolute classic. Works well both ways as well. That is an S-rank tier circuit. Kyoto. You know what? Oh. Right, Miyabi is a karting one, right? Miyabi is a lot of fun in karting. It has to go. It's a bit like Red Bull Ring Short, Indy, Miyabi, their rock and roll circuit. So what about Yamagiwa and Combined? You know what? I'm going to put these A-rank. I don't drive them a lot, but it feels like you're in Japan. It feels sort of autumnal... You go, it's big elevation change. There's so many different types of corners. There's bicycle lanes on the track for some reason. For me, it's more exciting than Interlagos and Brands Hatch, which feel a bit samey. They, they feel samey to me. I don't know if that's coming across. Le Mans, you have to go straight up to S tier. Porsche curves. What is it? Corvette curves, Ford curves, Mulsan, Indianapolis, Arnage. To, to skip the queue, go straight to S rank. No chicane. I'm going to put A rank because I do like the chicanes. Otherwise, you go from Tetra Rouge straight to Mulsanne. And the, I like the chicanes. They're opportunity for me to make up time. So I'm going to put no chicane as A rank. What else do we have here? We have a billion Maggiore circuits, which is a flag in itself. Too many circuits trying to game the system here. West End. West End short and everything. Maggiore... It's got the big banky boy. It's got the big old banky boy. But the first sector is a bit of a boring sector, isn't it? I feel like it's better than Interlagos. But then the track limits and the chicane are so weird. The last bit of the circuit is really good. The first bit, I think as soon as you want to approach down to banky boy, Everything after Banky Boy is just really good. But I'm going to put it B because I, I actually think the first sector is a bit is a bit boring, to be honest. Don't really like it. Um, what else we got? Goodwood. I'm going to put Goodwood on A. You know what the track limits are. You know if you go wide, you're going to end up on the grass. And it's a, and you've got the fun little chicane. It's a cute little circuit. I like it. Again, it's a rock and roll circuit at Goodwood that you can do in any car. You can go in slow cars in Goodwood and have so much fun. So I like that. Autopolis. 
I think Autopolis gets a lot of hate. But is it D rank or C rank? Let's be real. Is it D rank or C rank? I'm going to put it D, uh, C rank. But it's, it's, it's a C minus because it's such a boring circuit in many ways. Like the, the scenery is boring. I know it's a real world circuit. Um, so no offense to the guy who designed it, guy, girl. But it always feels like I'm driving there in at noon in like a lazy summer's day and it just puts me to sleep a little bit but i don't hate it i don't hate it like i hate mount panorama so i'm going to put them up there both of them blue moon bay B bmb is a good circuit for oval racing actually it's my favorite oval racing circuit there's a little bit of strategy you need to lift and whatnot i like the paint scheme. i like the blue and yellow kind of works for me so i'm going to put that there and infield a is a cracking little circuit. Infield A is a great circuit. I'm going to put Infield A as a as a, um, as a rock and roll circuit there in A as well. Suzuka. The question obviously is: Is Suzuka S tier or A tier? I mean, go through the it's a it's a who's who of corners. You've got you've got the um, you know the the Japanese Lesmos. You've got one thirty R. You've got Spoon, Casio Triangle. The S's. It's a figure of eight, but for me, it's not S tier. I'm going to go A rank. It's not quite S tier for me. That's harsh. That's harsh, but for me, it's a step below Monza, Daytona, Dragon Trail, Seaside, Le Mans. It's just a step below. That's really harsh. But I would say, I think Suzuka East is an S rank circuit because it's just S's, leave all the fat. I don't need anything else. I just want S's, S's, S's on repeat. It's like a shot. It's like an injection of Suzuka. So I'm going to put Suzuka East as S rank, and I'm going to get some hate probably putting Suzuka A rank, but I just don't feel like it's... Oh, it's a tough one. I don't feel like it's a great circuit for overtaking. And if you look at my circuits at the top there, Monza, Daytona, Dragon Trail Seaside, Le Mans... And then Suzuka Reese, because you're probably in a slower car. Great circuits for overtaking. So it's going to go A rank for me. It's ahead. It's definitely ahead of Interlagos and Brands. So what else have we got? San Qua, a Spa, sorry, Spa, S rank. Like Spa is just a better circuit than Suzuka. Way more elevation change. Um, Eau Rouge, Radion, Le Coombe, the bus stop even. I mean, Blanchemont, just, you could say Blanchemont 130R, but I just think Spa's a better package. Spa's a better package. If you put 130R in Spa, that'd be great. Right, Watty G. What about Watty G? <sighs> Watty G. I prefer it to Raid Atlanta. I don't hate it. I'm a bit apathetic. Do I put Watty G up here? Watty G, you got turn one where everyone runs wide and you go up with the blue barriers. The chicane's quite good fun. The next corners, and the middle sector's a bit middly. But it's a bit, I prefer, it doesn't put me to sleep. It doesn't put me to sleep. And I like the last sector. The last sector for me redeems it. They're quite fun corners in the last sector. And turn one's always a bit interesting. It's you know, turn one's a bit similar to Autopolis, but I feel like Autopolis just gets boring. Okay, Trial Mountain. I don't. I am not a big Trial Mountain fan, but I don't hate it. Turn one, turn two. You've got a nice chicane at the beginning. Go through the tunnels. More tunnels. I, okay, I'm gonna. Oh my god, I can't put. I think Trial Mountain's overrated. I don't think it's a great racing circuit. There's a corner where there's like a tree on the apex. Like it's not, it, again, it, for, it starts to have some issues like Grand Valley Speedway for me. Like Alsace. Like, is it a racing circuit? Is it a sort of free roam area? It's between B and C. This is a big one. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put it B. I'm also going to move Nürburgring GP up. You can see that B ranking of circuits is starting to make sense now in my head anyway. So like, 
They're solid circuits that I'm not in love with, but I don't hate them, but they're solid circuits. Whereas C, Big Willow, <sighs> Deep Forest, Sector 1, No Way, Autopolis gets boring, Sukubish are so bland. And then D is elements I really don't like, like Mount Panorama, just I just don't really like it. Gardens, don't really like it. Fuji, Terrible Sector, High Speed Ring, Apathetic, Road Atlanta. And then you got the bin. So what else do we got? We got Laguna Seca. Is Laguna Seca B rank or A rank? I don't think Laguna Seca can go any further than Brands Hatch. Can I put them together? Because Laguna Seca is the Brands Hatch of California. They are basically the same circuit. Like you just don't want to go off. You don't want to end up in either the grass for Brands Hatch or the desert for Laguna Seca. Yes, it has the corkscrew. For me, it's a lot better in, in sims like ACC and iRacing where you dig in a bit more. In Gran Turismo, I don't like the corners because it feels like you're washing wide on the exit. You don't have that those tyres digging in. So I'm going to put it in B rank, controversial. So we, we're left, our Sardegna can all go in the bin. I don't like the Sardegna tracks, any of them. Sorry, don't like them, don't understand them. Is it a road? Is it a circuit? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Go backwards, go forwards. I don't like Sardegnas. I think B maybe I can tolerate, but I really, I just don't like them. People really like them. You probably like them, but I don't. So I'm putting it in the bin. I would not feel bad if any of these circuits were not in, in the next Gran Turismo game. So Kaz, if you're watching. Right, Tokyo Expressway. I'm just going to treat them as all one. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do Central Outer and treat it as one. Don't hate it. I'm fairly apathetic. There aren't that many aspects I really like, so I'm going to put it there. I'm not in love with Tokyo Expressway. Again, if it was free roam, I would love it. I'd be cruising. You've seen my videos have done it, like in the Lexus LFA. But for, ra for, ra for racing, I'm not in love with it. Everything in B, there are elements that I, that I do like. I'm just there. I'm not in love with them. Um, Daytona Oval. B rank for me. Very happy putting that B rank. It's like, okay, yeah, I like it, but... You know, I don't like it as much as Daytona, which is um, S rank. So we're left with the Majioris, which are just, there are so many, I'm just gonna, you've, they've, there's too many. And these ones, and we're left with Blooming Bay Infield B. I can't really remember. Is, is it just A backwards? I'm trying to remember. I think it might just be A backwards. Anyway, it can go in the bin. We don't need it. You don't need to reverse every track. I already said that Blooming Bay is, A is quite a good track. So then we got a San now, according to my logic, San Qua should be down there because is it a road circuit? Is it a racing circuit? But San Qua is so underused that I feel like it's a level playing ground for people. I feel like if San Qua comes up, if I'm doing a lobby stream and I put San Qua in, it's going to be so random. Like anyone could win. So I'm going to put the San Qua ones. They're in between B and C. How am I feeling? Am I feeling charitable? No, I'm not. I'm going to put them there. They go C for me. Right, let me explain what I've done. In the S rank ones, we've got absolutely... If you if you pulled me out of bed in the middle of the night and said, you've got to race that in two minutes, I'd be like, yes! Run out of bed, like, yes, can't wait. Monza, can't wait. Daytona, special stage, Lake Louise, Seaside, Le Mans, Suzuka East or Spa. I'm like, yes. Nordschleife... I'd be like, oh, but I can't not put the Nord Life in S. It's sort of like how Ferrari get money for free in Formula One. A rank circuits, I like them a lot. I just they're just not like S rank. But yeah, Catalonia love it. Red Bull Ring, Red Bull Ring Short is even better. Brands Hatch Indy, Miyabi, the Kyoto ones, slightly different aspect there. Le Mans no Chicane, Goodwood, Blue Moon Bay, Infield A, and Suzuka. Love them. B, just solid circuits. And then we go down to bin. Let me know what you think in the comments. What would you do differently? List them in the comments and let me know. And also check out these videos I've done on other reviews. And we're going to do more tier listing. So I will see you. I'll see you then. Make sure to subscribe as well.